Hello, um, following the uh, the last video I did about uh, keeping your maggots fresh, just want to do another quick one about um, how to flavour your maggots and what kind of uh, additives I use, not just like commercially available ones, but also ones that you can find in your kitchen. Uh, one of the most popular ones for years now is turmeric. Always good for like, dyeing your maggots bronze, brilliant for uh, roach and river fishing in general but i also use it in lakes <coughs> awesome uh additive another one a lot of people don't seem to use very more uh, that much at the moment is uh, oxo just uh like smash up two oxo cubes and put them in your maggots good for perch <coughs> some bream every now and again can't fault it i used to use that quite a lot obviously uh for your margin fishing a good idea would be uh good old uh a crushed um, krill probably the best chub additive in the world uh, fenkel which is basically fennel uh, yeah just add that to your maggots especially if you're using it on a maggot feeder just keep that in there with your maggots and you'll attract the chub oh, but even perch and some other fish also turn up as well uh, love that one one that doesn't seem to get used that often these days is the vanilla or the vanille, whichever way you want to call it. I've actually lost count how many fish I've caught on that. I've used it for decades now. It's one of the first uh, additives I actually ever used from on the nine way back in the 80s. Still use that quite a lot. <sighs> Obviously, that's for that, that's more like my all round kind of mix. I'll use that for anything. Uh, roach. Perch, bream, tench, carp, every, well, basically all fish love that. And another one is the uh, caramel. Can't go wrong with that. Especially for your brim, they your skimmers and your bream. Brilliant. Uh, special, uh, which is the roach additive, which is like the coriander based one. Um, yeah, use that quite a lot. Either, like I said, with a maggot feeder or just normal. If you're cupping in maggots, you've obviously got the scent of the uh, the additive in there as well. So that will go through the water and will also draw the fish in without feeding them as well, obviously. Which uh, also helps, especially during the colder months. Not so, well, yeah, it'll still work now, obviously. They'll still go for it. A lot of people seem to just use it in the, in the winter months or the colder months. But I don't have a problem with them doing... If I'm after roach or basically silverfish, and that I'd use that pretty much anywhere, even on canals and rivers, no problem at all. Uh, another one which is very underrated is blood meal. Um, I know back in the 90s or 80s as well, blood meal used to be uh, quite a little, uh, well, wasn't really a well known secret, everyone was using it really. But it seems to be uh, fading at the moment, but I still use it quite a lot. I know fish meal is kind of taken over these days, but blood meal is still a very good one. I mean, now it's starting to warm up. The spring's coming. Get some blood meal in with your maggots. Like I said, if you're just potting in maggots with your like a toss pot or with a pole cup, yeah, they also leave a... Well, they'll all leave a little cloud in the water anyway. So um, that will obviously help. Anyway, if you've got any questions or anything, just pop a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks very much. Cheers.